Good afternoon, everyone. Jason here. Today is March 26th, and this is your aftermarket update. All right, so we're going to talk a little bit about this ES here. Uh, I had a, a little bit of a difficult day getting started here today. In fact, uh, if you joined us for the first part of the session, you saw me take a couple of losing trades, a break even trade, and uh, all with the idea uh, that we were trying to get short here on the ES initially today. We're going to talk about this here. Uh, real quick, we had what we call a sweet spot retracement up here today at 36, 36, uh, sorry, 2637 quarter. That's the represented by that red line here. Uh, market rallies up into it in the pre-market hours. Uh, we look to get short on a rally back up into our daily structure signal up here at uh, 32 quarter, 32 half. In fact, the market comes up here, does sell off just a little bit. And so we were trying to get short right here, looking for a push down into this. Uh, the initial push we were looking for uh, was this level here at uh, 22 half down into this structure mid at 14 quarter. That was the initial place that we were looking. Uh, ended up taking a couple of stop outs up here, right? You can see just how choppy and uh, bouncy this uh, area is uh, in that zone. What we ultimately did, though, is took the short that was right up here at this uh, sweet spot retrace right up here at 2637 quarter happened to also line up with uh, this pitchfork which is the uh, which is this uh, kind of midline on this pitchfork here and then uh, also the 200 period SMA and so we had the right idea in fact uh, that was kind of the theme here today uh, on the CL when I show you this ES trade of the day you're gonna see me get in short uh, on the CL at uh, 60, in fact, uh, let's go back over here really quickly. You're going to see me get in short just right after we triple topped up here at 60. Uh, we were looking for, we talked about, again, a sweet spot retracement area at uh, down here at this uh, 05, 04 area. And that's ultimately where the market gets to. But this was going to be our target from 60 short. In fact, what you're going to see uh, is me get into a trade here when you start to see this uh, trade of the day that I show you on the ES. You're going to see me in short at 60 uh, as we're looking for the market to come back. I end up getting taken out right in this area up here uh, at break even. And uh, actually, it was I think it was break even plus one, which is why you're going to, I'm going to show you my stats here in a second. You're going to see that show up. But it was right around this break even plus one area. And so it was that kind of day for me. I, I had the right idea in terms of direction. We were looking for the market to get short initially today. In fact, if you joined us for the initial uh, discussion on direction we talked about the fact that the cl was biased to the long side but there were a number of uh, mitigating factors that would uh, have you looking also at potential short opportunities and the same thing with the es we thought we talked about the fact that there were a number of uh, reasons to get short today which is what we ultimately did there uh, but that there were some mitigating factors for the market to go long and so if you look at how it played out today uh, Ultimately, the CL did get going long at around uh, the 6508 level and then uh, finished above the low. Uh, and then the uh, ES actually ends up rallying after we had this short opportunity. So what we did today, uh, we were looking for this uh, daily structure signal. In fact, when you see the video today, uh, you're going to hear me get in at 2637 quarter. And we're going to talk about a target around uh, this area here, around 26, 27. And if you draw a horizontal line, let me just do this for you here. This is why we were initially targeting this area. As you can see where all that congestion and price action was here today. But what we decided and what you'll ultimately see is we were deciding that we were going to try to push down into this uh, daily structure mid. It actually goes quite a bit deeper. We were in at 37 quarter short and uh, ends up a 31 point ES move. Uh, before it began the rally up. Now, we only caught 14 points of that, but that was enough today to get me out of the hole. So let's take a look at this. Here, here are the numbers uh, for today. You can tell here uh, that it wasn't a very good day from a winning percentage idea for me. I had the one break even and then the one winning trade. So I only won 25% of my trades. But if you look here, uh, the average winning trade was 361. The average losing trade, 143. Uh, that means I had a two and a half to one risk reward ratio. Uh, my largest trade today was 712.50. So that was just uh, that was that 14.1 uh, lot ES trade. Uh, the winning trades we were holding for 31 minutes, and the, in the uh, losing trade we were holding for four minutes. So again, 
uh, one of the things, if you saw the uh, video correction, if you saw the uh, analysis that I sent out yesterday, uh, you know, one of the things that we talk about is that if we are winning, we stay in. And if we are losing, we try and get out very quickly. And that's evidenced here, again, by the statistical information from today's trading session. While I was only up $150, I only won 25% of my trades. And we did have uh, this one really large trade. 31 minutes was the average hold time for the winning trade. Uh, and that's cut back just a little bit because I was at a break even plus one. And it was four minutes for the average hold time for the loser. So again, that's a seven to one, right? We're holding our winning trades seven times greater than our losing trades, and our average uh, winning trade was two and a half times greater than the average losing trade. So, again, those are the way that uh, the statistics work. And on a day like today where I had some trouble finding uh, the direction uh, in the market, we ended up positive on the day despite the fact that I had winning percentage of only 25%. So what I'm going to do is let you watch this 14.1-lot uh, ES trade. You'll be able to at least get a sense uh, for how we manage the trade and uh, holding on to the target. So without further ado, here is that OTG trade. of the 37 quarters short on the ES. That sweet spot retracement stop is. And then maybe the stop here will be 40 quarter. Target now is that 26, 27 area underneath. 